As fifth hosted sixth on the south coast, a very tough proposition for Charlton away to a free-scoring Portsmouth side who've won six of their last seven in all competitions, but would regret Ronan Curtis blazing over in the opening minutes. The Addicts have been on song themselves, chasing a fifth successive victory and hot on the heels of League One's pace setters. Another step in the right direction came when Jake Forster Kasky checked back to seek out Chelsea Loney Ian Matson, who was charging into the box. Likewise, Johnny Williams, the Welsh international perhaps getting a taste for goals after his winner against Bulgaria a couple of weeks ago. Two this month is as many as he'd scored in the previous six years. Lee Bowyer's men sealed their success with eight minutes to go and extended a remarkable record at Fratton Park. They've won eight of their last nine league visits to Portsmouth. The latest secure when Paul Smith picked out Chuck Sanike, and no mean feat given Pompey's outstanding October form. I'm delighted uh, to come to, to Portsmouth and, and take away three points. Not many teams are going to do that. And uh, we, we had to fight for it and, and work hard for it. And, and all, my, all my players stood up and, and, and was counted. You know, they, um, they put a shift in today. And thankfully, we got over the line and, and take the three point, points home. For Charlton today here, just absolutely flying. You know you're on a good run when you're talking in hundreds of minutes, 542 minutes since conceding. A goal, Darren, and I know you know loads of the coaching team there. Yeah, I mean, six clean sheets on the bounce is fantastic. I mean, they've been taken over now, and finally, Johnny Jackson, Lee Bowie, Andy Marshall. There's mm -hmm. positive news because they've done wonders at that football club, but mm -hmm. they've lost some of their best players. Some of their best players refusing to play. They lost Bacoli Boney, but they've managed to keep going. Johnny Williams stepped up today, and I think they'll have a very good season. I, I think the key with them is, is not only they're not conceding goals, they're not conceding chances. No. No. I mean, today, Portsmouth, who scored seven goals in their last two games, were kept at, arm, at arm's length throughout. Charlton were, were great value for their win. They're set up so well and having no trouble scoring goals. So if you're keeping clean sheets and you're able to score in most games, yeah. I mean, how far can you go? Change at the summit as Peterborough and Ipswich replace Lincoln and Hull in the top two. Charlton Athletic are up to fifth after their victory at Portsmouth, a fifth consecutive win without conceding a single goal. Uh, the top two both lost but swapped positions due to goals scored. Swindon move out of the bottom four after their win. Wigan replaced them in the relegation zone after just one point in their last six.